to us? Hi. <laughs> Still on there. Anthony, I think you are credited with five try saving tackles, which is your favourite. Um, yeah, I've got my pass and come back to it. But obviously, yeah. that showed it's not the spirit that was out there on yeah. display. Yeah, obviously, yeah. We, um, uh, you know, we turned up when we were supposed to and um, you know, come up with some, some really good defence. Um, I can't remember the, at the moment the individual ones. So I know Hoffman come up with a great one. Yeah. Anthony, how fantastic was that win? Oh yeah, the win was, was. We just needed, you know, to play uh, you know, a really good hard game of football tonight, no matter who was in the team. And, uh, uh, you know, we let ourselves down last week against Penrith, not being resilient enough defensively. But uh, you know, we, we, we fixed that up tonight in that last ten minutes. We didn't really want to be doing that much, but um, ended up we had to defend our line for the last. 10 minutes and we did. You've been in that situation a few times this year already and yeah. haven't been resilient, so really good. Yeah, no, it was good. They're a really good side and um, they threw a lot at us. Um, <coughs> and, um, you yeah, know, we just um, obviously uh, just kept showing up defensively and, and um, made sure we got over the line tonight. The fellas that come into the side, what can you say about their performance? performances? Oh, I thought the two wingers were terrific. Um, you know, particularly Miranda in that last 20 minutes, some of the high ball he diffused against Varda Dye. But uh, Geordie as well, um, you know, he finished off that try. Um, you know, we are probably, obviously everyone saw we were probably a little bit lost defensively a little bit with the changes. We lost a little bit of our structure defensively, but we we scrambled really well. How hard would it be for those three guys that got dropped to get back in the side next week now? Oh, you know, I'll just we'll see how they played on the weekend and review the game and we'll, we'll move forward from there. I don't want to start talking about next week or those guys at the moment. I think um, we'll just worry about that tonight. David Hockley was shifted to left centre because of Jack Reed being mm. stood down. Yeah, he's, he's a great attacking player, Dale. Yeah, sensational. Uh, you know, when he played right centre against Matt Eye that day, he did a great job too. Uh, you know, we, you know, we probably missed Jack's defence on that edge um, a, a little bit at times, but um, you know, Dale will learn. Um, but it was a terrific uh, attacking display, particularly that second half. Hodjo, when three guys, members of your team, get dropped in a week before a big game, what's it do to the rest of the playing group? <coughs> well, we, we knew they were going to get dropped, and um, for us, it didn't change anything. Um, like Cook said, the guys that came in, it's their opportunity to cement a spot. Um, so those guys have got to you know, work harder to get back in. And, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who plays, everyone's got to turn up and do a job. Senior players I thought were pretty prominent tonight, yourself and Dan and Sam and Corey. Was that, do you guys talk at all during the week, the leadership group, about your responsibilities? Oh, we always talk. <laughs> yeah, um, as, as leaders of the squad, you know, we always got to put ourselves up first and, um, and take everything that comes. And, um, you know, Cosa and Sam that played well to again tonight. And, um, but not just them, I thought the young guys really stood up well. Just what do you, do you think about this win? It's pretty amazing considering all the pressure that's built up and the guys that were some down. Oh, yeah, we just needed to win. Um, you know, coming off two two losses and um, yeah, huh? three. three is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> you were only there for two. There you go, I'm there for two. But look, we just wanted to win tonight. Um, Any way we could. You know, Warriors are a great side. They, you know, come off heaps of wins and. Um, yeah, they, like I said, they're a great side. They got on top of us early, and um, you know we fought our way back. And at the end of the day, we just wanted to win any way we could. Is this what's your sort of thinking behind your move of Barber to five eight? Oh, I just had a, uh, a chat to both of them earlier in the week, and 
Now, obviously, uh, yeah, that's you know been a bit patchy for us that area. Uh, we decided we'd, we'd um, you know have a look at it the other way tonight. What are your thoughts of how it went tonight? Uh, still patchy. Yeah. Yeah. Would you think that you'd, you'd like to see it that way again, just to give a bit of uh, continuity? Yeah, oh, we'll just keep you know working with that. We'll review that game. And, uh, I thought they both. Uh, you know, like all of them, they, they probably started a little slow, but once they got into the game, they, you know, they found their feet a little bit. Um, you know, being defensively, obviously, but uh, you know, I don't. You know, I think the game. You know, we we made some changes, and uh, you know, we we're upfront about that. We're not trying to hide anything. And, you know, if we, no matter who was in the team tonight, if we if we're not a committed team, we, we don't get through that tonight, and no matter whether we made changes or not, you know, they had six or eight more sets over the course of the game, and, um, you know, we, we just seem to be stuck in our own end for, you know, that last 15 minutes, so, you know, I don't want to be talking about the changes all the time, I just thought that the Broncos tonight, with the people we had out there, we were committed and we, we got the job done. Just was this performance going to show up and make any change? Show up, Yeah, like, was it a way of saying that we definitely want to hear on term, like the play set? Oh, and definitely, yeah. We, you know, we've just got to win games. Um, at the end of the day, we win games and the pressure goes off everyone. Um, yeah, we're the ones out there that play footy. Um, you know, the coach, the staff, do everything they can to get us prepared. And you know, we're the ones out there that do the job. Anthony, one last question on your six and your one. Mm. As it stands, you haven't done your, your debrief properly, but do you think you'd keep them in the same positions for the Melbourne game? Yeah, probably at the moment, yeah. Um, if it, I could give you an answer, I think we, we might leave that at the moment. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. <coughs> Just outside the door, mate. Hopefully it'll work this week. Yeah, you. <laughs> you got a new man on the hand. Huh? Yeah, yours, yeah. yeah. How do you do? You've been pretty active. Shows up.